What's up, Cora Porters? And welcome back to my channel. Hell have no fury like Simone Biles' mother scorned, you guys. <laughs> I just watched this video on TMZ that I'm going to share with you in a second here. But basically, Simone Biles' family is being interviewed on television, live television, might I add, by Snoop Dogg. And Simone Biles' mother um, tells a story about how Snoop Dogg treated Simone and her family rather poorly back in 2010. So 14 years ago, when they asked him for a photo together. So let's take a look at exactly what it is she has to say. And then we'll discuss more about like the entire confrontation on the flip side, okay, you guys? So once again, this video is coming from TMZ.com, specifically their TMZ sports division. Let's watch the awkward moment go down. Yeah, we got a few down here. And Snoop, I don't know if you know this, but you know, Simone and you have known each other for a long time, right, Nelly? How? That's correct. How, Nelly? I mean, I remember, I will never forget that we met you in Times Square, 2010. And you said, because we asked for a picture, you said two minutes, one, two, and you were gone. <laughs> How awkward, right? She said, I will never forget. And when you say that, you mean, this means that something that happened to you was like, you know, rather a core memory for you. And it was something that truly, truly impacted you. So obviously in that moment when Simone Biles and her family asked Snoop Dogg for a photo together, and he said two minutes, and we know two minutes constitutes 120 seconds, which means that gives you enough time to stand there, pose for the photo, and then allow Snoop to be on his way. Because at the end of the day, celebrities, like they're people too. They've got places they want to be. They have their moments. They have their good days. They have their bad days. Like they can be really um, busy or sometimes they just don't want to take a picture at all. Like haven't that, haven't that, hasn't that ever happened to you where you just don't feel like taking a, a photo. You don't feel like taking a video. I mean, at least that happens to me sometimes on YouTube. I love making videos and stuff for you guys, but some days I just cannot be bothered to like, you know, appear in it. You know, sometimes it's just like an audio or sometimes like I just can't film in general because I just don't have the energy or like the vibe for that. So, you know, and I feel like, you know, if Snoop Dogg was feeling that way, he very well could have just said that clearly to the family. Hey, like, I would have loved to. Thank you for your support. But unfortunately, like, I I'm just not feeling it today. But to give them the false hope by saying they have two minutes, which is a substantial amount of time for a photo. Typically, they don't even take that long, right? Uh, but to, to lie and say two minutes, one, two, and then go like sort of like in a mocking way, I can 100% see why Simone Biles' mom held that with her. And especially given the way that Snoop Dogg has showed up at the Olympics to support Simone Biles. For example, as you can see here, yesterday during the qualifying uh, round where Simone Biles was performing to try to, you know, score a spot like, you know, to put, compete for the podium, here she was in her outfit yesterday, what happened? Snoop Dogg showed up to support her, which is amazing, wearing a shirt with Simone Biles' photo on it. And it's a very iconic photo of Simone Biles with multiple gold medals that she won. Um, so, you know, I, I, I definitely see why her mom held on to that memory right like this was someone that snoop Dogg, that uh, simone you know looked up to enjoyed his music and everything like that they just wanted a little moment with him he blew them off in a rather rude way and then here he comes like 14 years later not realizing that the girl that he disrespected the family that he disrespected is the one that he's wearing on his shirt acting like a day one fan and everything like that it, it, it's crazy how life comes at you full circle and i do think that this moment that we just witnessed here is a great reminder of why you should always treat everybody with respect and i and you know and it's not even just that i feel like even if the, simone never went on to become the most decorated gymnast of all time or to become one of the greatest athletes who ever lived like you still should just as a baseline treat people that way like it's okay i'm not blaming snoop dogg for not wanting to take photos with simone and her family he had every right to refuse the photo but do so in a dignified manner right like don't don't you know uh take the piss with people just say hey listen i'm just not feeling it today maybe another time and keep it moving you don't have to say you've got two minutes one two and keep you know and bounce like that that's not cool so let's take a look at that awkward moment all over over again now that we remember that Snoop Dogg 14 years later would go from disrespecting Simone and her family when they were nobodies, right? Quote unquote nobodies to now with her being this huge icon, he is out here wearing her face on a sh on a on a t-shirt, not realizing who she was, you know, in, in that story. And it's so funny how he doesn't even remember this, right? Because he meets so many people. He is so famous 
worldwide that this is not something that ever registered to him. But to them, because they were just regular people at the time, this is a memory that they will never forget, right? So always remember that, right? So let's take a look at it, shall we? Yeah, we got a few down here. And Snoop, I don't know if you know this, but you know, Simone and you have known each other for a long time, right, Nelly? How? That's correct. How, Nelly? I mean, I remember, I will never forget that we met you in Times Square, 2010. And you said, because we asked for a picture, you said two minutes, one, two, and you were gone. <laughs> He doesn't even know what to say. But, you know, upon the rewatch, I'm seeing NBC set her up. Hoda set Snoop up. She's like, oh, like, you guys have known each other for a long time. Asking Snoop Dogg for a photo is not knowing Snoop Dogg, but they just wanted to be messy. And listen, guess what? It worked. This, that is a soundbite heard around the world today. Let me know what you think about this entire ordeal, you guys. It really is uh, something I was not expecting to come out of the games. But listen, things happen. We're not always, at, you know, at our best. So, I, you know, I, I, I don't... I don't hate Snoop Dogg for this interaction. I think it's just maybe a learning moment about how like, you know, certain things that you don't even remember can be just so impactful to other people, right? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.